Hi, everybody. This is George Foshan. I'm a broker with Call Realty Best Palace Verdes Homes. And uh, the scene behind me is where my office is at 433 Via Corta in Palace Verdes Estates. We're right below the Malaga Cove Library and around the corner from the Pal uh, Palace Verdes Police Station and City Hall. Um, this video is for people who either own a home in Palace Verdes Estates that are thinking about selling or someone who is thinking about buying a home in Palos Verdes Estates, or maybe you're just simply curious about where the market is gonna go next. What will prices for Palos Verdes Estates homes do in the next few weeks, months, et cetera? And the only way to determine that is to get a handle on what the forces of supply and demand are doing. Because at the end of the day, Real estate is simply a commodity, just like any other commodity. Its price is only regulated by supply and demand. That's all there is to it. It's both that simple and that complicated. So let's take a look at what's happening with, um, with uh, supply and demand and how that is affecting sale prices. Uh, take a look at this chart. What we're seeing here is um, something very, very interesting. Uh, this is my proprietary index on absorption rate. And what I'm measuring is the interaction between supply, new listings coming to the market in Palos Verdes Estates, and demand, the volume of pending sales, and what the ratio is between those two forces. And as you can see, from about December of 2021, the market was rapidly improving from uh, for every 10 new listings, only two existing listings were being put into escrow uh, to a high in spring of 2022. For every 10 new listings, uh, about four and a half existing listings were being placed into escrow. And then what happened? Interest rates went up and the market started tumbling in terms of the absorption rate. The market became weaker less able to absorb inventory through sale activity. But people got used to the interest rates, realized that 6 7% really historically wasn't that bad at all. The forces of demand overwhelmed higher interest rates, and the absorption rate started increasing again. So what happened to prices during that same time? Well, we see that the median dollar per square foot uh, was down here. As the absorption rate increased, so did sale prices. As the absorption rate uh, fell, so did sale prices. Um, and in fact, um, this kind of gives a precursor to what will happen next with prices. So as we see this increase happen, my opinion uh, is that we will see resiliency in home prices in Palos, in Palos Verdes Estates. I don't really see a correction happening uh, in the near term. In fact, we it could be argued that we already had a correction uh, during this period of time between spring of, 20, 20, 20, blah, spring of 2022 and uh, 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 spring of 2023. And uh, now things are heating up again. So um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. If you'd like to dig deeper into this, if you'd like to explore what your own home uh, uh, might sell for in today's market, what a buyer in today's market might pay, and just as importantly, how many buyers there are looking for a home like yours. And did you know I have proprietary technology that can answer that question? No other broker can do this for you. So give me a call, send me an email, Let's, let's dig into it and uh, let's go from there. Thanks for your time. Glad you watched and I'll be talking with you soon. Bye for now.